tropical storm Debbie made landfall this evening in Florida. Some places could get more than two feet of rain as Debbie moves slowly across the state. Michelle Miller is in Hernando County, Florida tonight. Michelle. The bulk of the rain here is gone, but take a look behind me. That flooding extends another two miles across these fields and down that road. This fence was almost completely covered at one point. It Sandra Bolzak and her family rushed to save 15 horses from rising water in Brooksville, Florida. Hooked the ropes up to them and the poor ponies, their noses were just above the water. What's the plan? We really don't know what we're going to do as of today. Debbie has dumped 15 inches of rain here. The Florida Highway Patrol closed a 50 mile stretch of I-10 between Tallahassee and Jacksonville because of the flooding. Across north central Florida, people have been forced from their homes. The relentless rain has also opened dozens of sinkholes, some big enough to swallow homes. 30 appeared in Hernando County alone. You see the crack lines right there, so you know there's no ground under that. Um, you have cracks over here. Um, so we're not standing probably, in a safe place we're right We're probably now. not in okay. a safe location. Forecasters say some parts of Florida may see nearly two feet of rain before the storm finishes its march from the Gulf of Mexico to the Atlantic. And Scott, if the flooding weren't miserable enough, there have been reports throughout the states of alligators in the streets, snakes in homes, and one woman told me that her front yard looked like a virtual aquarium. Michelle, thank you very much.